Hey guys, it's Ventus HD, and uh, today uh, we're stitching the usual, and we're gonna go be Mario. So let's go. Hi. to outrun the cops um I managed to get back to my house and now uh, I'm just gonna chill uh, what's, what's behind my head a download card for Super Mario Odyssey let's give it a try growing up I did play Mario games but 3d Mario games were a different story my first Mario games were Mario Kart Super Circuit and Mario Tennis Power Tour for the Game Boy Advance when I was between the ages of 1 and 3. As for 3D Mario, it was my neighbor's copy of Super Mario 64 DS when I was 5. I remember only playing the multiplayer, sliding down Princess's Secret Slide as Yoshi, and grabbing all the hats not knowing what I was doing. So obviously that was the beginning of my child prodigy story. I remember thinking to myself, holy shit, I can change from Yoshi to Mario, Luigi, and Wario? A few years later, my aunt got me Super Mario Galaxy for my 8th birthday. I remember getting home, popping the disc into my Wii, creating a new save file, getting through the tutorial, and then calling out my brother for help because I was a stupid child. I'm pretty sure he ended up playing way more of that game than I did because I honestly did not know what I was doing when I tried to play it. And that kind of surprises me to this day still, because he was older and got out of Nintendo. Then we discovered the two-player mode. To describe to you the two-player mode in Super Mario Galaxy, basically a friend could grab a second Wii Remote and help you collect all the star bits. So you can probably guess what I ended up doing. Over the next few years, I tried to play both of those games, selling them, rebuying them, only to try again and then sell them again until 2017. The Nintendo Switch was announced and there was a new Mario game that nobody knew anything about and I thought, looks cool, but not really my thing. That game would eventually become to be known as Super Mario Odyssey and even after the unveil, I still wasn't really hooked on it. Yes, I thought Cappy and his abilities were an interesting thing, being able to possess Mario enemies and creatures throughout the game, but it was another Mario 3D platformer, and at that point I'd never completed one. That's when 2019 rolled around, and this man made a video about Super Mario Galaxy 2. Hey y'all, Scott here. He was one of the few YouTubers at the time that I could laugh at and also agree with his opinion. After seeing that video, it brought me back to when I thought about the Mario Odyssey launch, and what I thought about the game. And then I thought, why don't I try to give the game another chance? Somehow I ended up watching several other people play the game and, uh, uh, that's the wrong clip. That's the wrong clip. THAT'S THE WRONG CLIP! Somehow I ended up watching several other videos on the game, and then when I asked my friends about it, they were all like, Just buy the game! And then I was like, What am I doing? So this year, 2020, you know, the best freaking year ever, I got a Switch for my 16th birthday. And about a week or two after getting the Switch, I picked up Super Mario Odyssey. And let me just say, I've never ever been more immersed in a Mario game in my life. Soon as I entered the Cap Kingdom, I felt a way greater sense of freedom compared to some of the Mario games I played in the past. Mario was fun and easy to control and I very quickly picked up the Cappy mechanic. I breezed through the first three kingdoms and 
to be honest, I don't really have anything to say about them. It's not that they were bad, I enjoyed my time with them, but they just weren't that rememberable compared to the other ones that I'm going to talk about. So let's start with the Metro Kingdom. This was the main world that caught my eye, why you may ask? Because it reminded me of when Alex C and D went to New York City for one month to wait for the Switch. Oh, and you know that I jammed out to Jump Up Superstar. Next was the Snow Kingdom, and all I can say is, thank god Nintendo didn't put in another annoying baby penguin. But then there was the racing section. I dreaded this section because I did not enjoy the aquatic races in Super Mario Galaxy. Let me just say, I had way too much fun with the Bound Bull Grand Prix. I kind of feel bad for my friends though, who had to put up with me screaming the entire time. Let's go! 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 Ice slash snow levels in Mario games have always been a dread for me, but this one I'd have to say is probably the best out of all of them I've played. The Luncheon Kingdom. You do not know how many jumps led to my inevitable death. Also, that part where you had to fling yourself with the freaking forks. I was ready to stab myself with a fork at that point. Now before I get to the second last kingdom, you've probably noticed. Ventus, you haven't talked about any of the bosses. To be honest, I think they were all pretty easy and they weren't really that memorable compared to King Bob Bomb from Super Mario 64 or Mega Legs from Super Mario Galaxy. I mean, to be fair, how could you forget about Mega Legs? He's fucking gigantic. I thought that boss in the Sand Kingdom was pretty interesting where you got to possess its fist and use it against it. Bowser's Kingdom. It's straight up terrorism! There were so many bombs coming at me from left, right, and center that I think I'm starting to have Vietnam flashbacks. Then this boss fight. Oh, this boss fight. This boss fight was the only one in the game that could manage to piss me off. It was so tedious, so annoying, and it can go die. Finally, we are at the Moon Kingdom. Not the Moon, the Moon Kingdom. Besides the unnecessary naming, which I should probably be used to anyway, because I'm a big fan of Kingdom Hearts and Nintendo. Anyway, this world has my favorite boss fight in the game. Well, I guess it was in earlier in the game, but this one's more challenging, which I like. So I'm just going to count this one. Why I like this boss fight so much? It's because you actually get to fight Bowser head on instead of trying to jump on him or throwing him. You actually get to like use your fists and actually fight. But then we have this part. You get to full on play as Bowser and destroy everything in sight. After that, Mario and Bowser get flat out rejected by Peach. Okay, so that was my Mario Odyssey experience. Now, if you excuse me, I have some stuff to do, and I need to get my idea. Um, where's my virgin card?